everybody, Donna with Photonic Health. So today I wanted to chat with you about red light therapy and ice. Do you combine it? What comes first? Does red light come first or does ice come first? And this is going to be applicable to um, your animals. So the question is, it depends. So let's take a look at the function of icing an injury. The reasons we ice an injury is one, to reduce inflammation. Two, it numbs the area so that we have a decreased sensation or decreased pain level. And um, number three, it's very therapeutic, especially in the first 48 hours of an injury. Now, here's one of the things that could be controversial. It also slows down cellular activity to prevent cell damage further. And this is where we go, it depends on red light or ice or ice and red light or one or the other. So um, I, for me, with my animals, we, it has to be an extreme, extreme, extreme situation that we would use the two together. And the reason is, is because red light therapy is clinically proven to reduce inflammation. So we've got that checked off. Um, it's clinically proven to um, reduce pain. So it's a natural pain reliever. So instead of numbing the area, which the sensation usually comes back within 20 to 30 minutes, um, we're going to use red light therapy, which has lasting effects up to 48 hours to mitigate the pain. The third reason is instead of slowing down cellular activity, we're asking the cells to normalize their activity. And the reason for that is because it induces something called phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is a fancy word for the mechanism that comes in and cleans up the cellular debris that is left behind when an injury occurs. So I think of it as little Pac-Mans. We release these little Pac-Mans within the cell. They come and they clean the cell out of the damage. And that's actually what makes red light therapy so beautiful is because in acute injury situations, it accelerates the healing process. So if you look at an injury side by side, like say a horse injury side by side, one that does not use red light therapy and one that does, the red light therapy side regenerates 60 to 80% faster and there's less scarring. So um, it's entirely up to you guys whether you want to put ice on first and then illuminate or illuminate and then put ice on. My recommendation is if you are going to use those in combination with each other, I would ice the area first and then I would illuminate just because we really want that cellular activity. We want to get it normalized. We want that cell functioning as normal as possible so that we can accelerate that healing process. And here's another little quick tip. The minute that an injury occurs, you want to get red lights on it immediately. And that is also the phagocytosis aspect of it. So, whenever any of our animals are injured, the first thing that goes on are red lights because they're 100% safe and they cannot do any damage. So while we're waiting for the vet or while we're on the way to the vet, um, it's already reducing inflammation, it's already reducing pain, and it's already starting that phagocytosis process so that it's going to minimize the damage that was already done. So 
Um, get your lights out, have them handy. If your animal gets injured, get lights on them immediately. And if you're gonna use your red lights with ice, put your ice on first and then use your red lights.